Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Thursday. It's Whiskey Day, and I hope you are glad to be here. I know I am. I'm looking forward to the weekend and spending some time cleaning my house. It's a disaster. I uh, have a lot of dust on these bottles, and I need to start uh, dusting them. But uh, hopefully you have better plans than that for the weekend. Um, before we get going, I want to make sure that you guys do watch yesterday's video where we got to go one-on-one -on -one with Jason Giles of Rosewood. Rosewood is quickly becoming one of my favorite um, craft whiskeys, and I think that Jason has done an excellent job at blending his whiskeys together, and I'm super excited to call him my friend, and um, we've hung out a couple times since then, and I'm like super excited about that brand, Rosewood. Check it out. Now today we're going to look at something that a friend brought to me and gave me and just blew me away. I've never even heard of it and that's Koval. Koval. K-O-V-A-L. It is a Chicago-based distillery, the Koval Distillery. And this is their oat whiskey. It's got a mash bill of 100% oat, which... Who does that? I don't know who else does that besides Koval. And... This just was an amazing flavor to me. It is 40% or 80 proof, and it is um, about $50 um, if you can find it. And you can buy this here in Texas, so I would imagine you can buy it in quite a few states, if not most of them. But we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so... Um, it's a Chicago-based distillery. I love the color on this. It's a nice, really dark, burnt red, uh, amber color. Uh, and it just smells wonderful. Getting some chocolate, molasses, that oat. Mm, there's a little bit of alcohol sting on it. Not much. <clears throat> heavy in the chocolate and um, there's some sort of I don't know almost prune to it dark fruit just smells unlike anything I've ever had before and it smells absolutely wonderful I would give this a four to four and a half on the aroma. Now the price is 50 bucks, so it's gonna be a one on price. So we're gonna go ahead and stick at a four and a half on this. So that's five and a half out of 20 so far. Oh, it's just so wonderful. It, it makes me excited to get into the other Colvo brands uh, products. There's quite a few different kinds. Wow. Mmm. Flavor is rich and creamy, not a lot of spice or heat to it. Right away, I'm going to say that it's a four on bite. There's no real back heat. There's a little bit on the nose, but no real heat to it at all. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, granted, it is only 80 proof. Honey, chocolate, molasses a little bit of oakiness to it. Maybe some hints of vanilla, but mostly any sweetness you're getting off of that is going to be um, the honey. Yeah, definitely chocolate. When I say chocolate, it's more like a milk chocolate, not a baking chocolate. And then a little bit of that dark fruit kind of I guess a prune, if you will. I'm not a prune fan, but it's giving me that kind of vibe, but not in a icky way. Yeah, easily this is a four, four and a half. I'm gonna say four and a half. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. So that's gonna push it to nine, 10, a 14 which is a strong three and a half, and we're gonna go ahead and push it up to a four. This is a absolute, this is one of my favorites. And unfortunately, this bottle's not gonna last very long because I'm gonna keep drinking it. Let's add a couple of drops of water and see how that affects things. Ew. 
and it mutes any of that alcohol that I was getting on the nose, which wasn't much. Brings out that milk chocolate a little bit more and the honey. Mmm. That is a really nice mouthfeel. It's like a nice chocolate, milk chocolatey creaminess with some honey and some vanilla and molasses to it. Wonderful. I love this stuff. Um, and like I say, I'm going to have to um, find out what other bottles they have. I know they have a bourbon and a rye, um, but this is the Koval Single Barrel Oat Whiskey. And I am going to also look and see if anybody out there is doing 100% mash bill of oats because that's something I'm really interested in. That's what Koval is doing. What are other people doing? Mm. Love it. But again, that's my opinion. We are going to give this a four. Uh, yeah, four overall. Um, and if Andy and Cody were here, we could probably debate and argue and maybe even push it to four and a half. But we're going to leave it at four. That's my opinion. What is your opinion? Have you had Koval um, Single Barrel Oat? Tell us what you think. Have you had the other iterations? Let me know. The rye, the bourbon. Um, they probably have a a straight bourbon, a single barrel bourbon, maybe a cast drink bourbon, but tell me what you think about them in general. And um, is there any other 100% mash bill, oat, oat mash bill out there? Let me know because I would definitely want to try it. I do like a good weeded uh, mash bill and a rye mash bill over um, the normal corn bourbon. Um, I love rye and weeded is just a phenomenal, but this is by far one of my top for the year in 2023. I'm super excited about it. Let us know in those comments. Again, check out the interview with Jason yesterday. It's great. Rosewood is fabulous. Um, and the Rosewood Bourbon 100 Proof is absolutely amazing. Um, but tell us what you think about that. Also, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and all of our other merchandise. And tomorrow we have a cocktail. We haven't done cocktails in a while, but we do have one already recorded and it'll be up tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. Okay, guys, remember there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is great whiskey. Cheers.